Hi LEGO fans, hope you're well. We're back with another set review today and one of my highlights of going into the LEGO store is always to find out what seasonal specials they have. These are sets that perhaps people overlook, uh, but LEGO release a lot of these special seasonal sets. So for example, you're going to see special sets for Valentine's Day, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, and of course, for Easter. And this is LEGO's 2017 Easter special. This is set number 40237 with how many pieces, Megan? 145. 145 pieces in a small little box here. And this little guy is the 2016 Easter special. I just thought I'd bring him out to show you. A uh, very different theme this year. Uh, we actually have two minifigs and we've got this Easter egg hunt. And we've got all of these places in this little vignette of a garden where we can hide Easter eggs. And then our little kid can go looking for them with his magnifying glass. Uh, so super excited about this. Uh, I know uh, these aren't the most popular sets in the world, but I really like the fact that you can buy these inexpensively. These usually run to about $10. And you get a lot of these little elements like flowers, uh, there's a chicken in there, we've got some vegetables, and a couple of cool mini figs as well. So you get some really nice, unique elements. Let's take a look at the back, see what's inside the box. So here's the back of the box, and this is always good to look at because LEGO give us a good idea of what to expect inside the set and what kind of play value it will have. So let's have a look here. We can see the little boy looking around the garden for these little Easter eggs, and there's all kinds of places in the set to hide them. Uh, also what I'm quite intrigued about is that we have a, a nice wheelbarrow here. You can see mom with the, uh, the Easter eggs and a carrot inside the wheelbarrow and uh, yeah more places to hide and looking at this here yeah we can actually see there's a letter box here which has got an easter egg hiding inside and that is classic lego city even you know back in the 1980s i remember getting these inside sets uh, so i'm super excited to get a new one of these and uh, good to get a vintage throwback also like the little trellis element here that we're getting. I don't think I've seen one of those before, but you do rarely get new elements inside these sets, but you know, lots of nice uh, extras which we can use for our own custom builds. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box. So as with these smaller sets, uh, Lego provided us with a punch out here so we can just tear the box open. So no knife required or scissors to get in here. Uh, let's see if we can do this without breaking my finger or breaking the box that'll be a no oh this one's a little bit tricky there we go okay so not expecting too much here but we do have quite a high set count uh, a high piece count should I say uh, this is 145 pieces and they're mainly going to be small pieces um, now that's really interesting uh, I don't know if that's something that's coming up that looks like a, a Halloween set um, yeah, but Halloween's a long way off, so that could be a teaser. Who knows? There's a little build manual here. And then we've got three bags and a base plate. And there's a little wheelbarrow, a little cart for the garden. So, yeah, let's get these open, and we're going to do a speed build. This is going to take us about 30 seconds to put together. So here's a closer look at the back of the build manual, and we believe this is going to be set number 40238 which is gonna be the Halloween special for 2017. Uh, that is great, some lovely elements in there. Super excited to get this, and I guarantee we will, and we will share this with you as soon as it comes out. And here's a completed build. So this is the 2017 LEGO Easter Special. Great little seasonal set, uh, weighing in at 145 pieces, which is uh, yeah, quite a good piece count for a $10 set. How long would you say you took building this, Megan? About 20 minutes. Yes, Megan's with me. Uh, Megan did this build for me today. And uh, how, how was it? Was it an easy build or did you have some complications? It was... A medium because there were some fiddly bits but it was a simple build. Oh you did a great job. 
I uh, really like this, really like the little kid here uh, with the short stubby legs and the micro, uh, the, uh, the magnifying glass. Uh, probably doesn't need those, to, need that to go uh, Easter egg hunting. And there's his mom uh, with the basket. I really like this little wheelbarrow here. I don't think we've got any of these, so it's really good to have that to add to the collection. And then we've got these three vignettes, uh, which each have hiding places for Easter eggs. Here inside the garden, underneath the soil. Here we've got room inside the mailbox. And here in the hen house, and we've got this cute little hen here. Great little minifig. Let's take a look at the actual minifigures and uh, we'll see what we've got. So first up, we've got the little boy minifig. And as you can see, this magnifying glass kind of almost works. Uh, that's very cool. Last time I saw one of those was in the Lego Ideas um, Science Institute, uh, celebrating women's achievements in science. This is a really cute minifig. I really like the, uh, the red hair and the little freckled face with this great hair piece. Uh, lots of printing on the front there, little childlike legs. And if we spin him around, also got that check printing on the back. Let's just take a look at his head here, because, oh right, that's interesting. Usually, nowadays, these minifigures tend to have two expressions. And you'll see that when we come to mom. Uh, this little guy only has the one expression, which is a cute little expression in its own right. And there he is with his magnifying glass. That's the little boy from the Easter set. So next up we've got who is probably mom, but uh, I won't be judgmental. Um, this is a very colourful minifig, really like this one, especially with these uh, bright turquoise pants. Uh, some really cool printing on here with the dolphin prints on the top here. And if we flip her over, we can actually see that this is a halter neck top tied at the back. Uh, really nice printing showing the curvature of the minifigure. Uh, really like the pink shades, the sunglasses there. And we also get this rather nice yellow plastic basket. Now this is a squidgy kind of rubbery material, which was really difficult to get into the minifigure's hands. In fact, I thought I was going to break it at one stage. So what we actually found was you had to slide it into the hands rather than kind of snap it in. Uh, but we got there in the end. Uh, love the hair piece. That's very cute with this kind of uh, curly bob. and. This time we do have an alternate expression on the back with sunglasses and without sunglasses. There's mom. So now we've got this wheelbarrow, nice cart for tending the garden. Now I've not seen one of these before. I can't imagine this is going to be a unique element, but uh, this is the first time I've had one of these in my collection. Um, you know, really hard plastic molded piece with some wheels on there that do turn. And uh, we've got a carrot, which we've definitely seen before and a little blue egg in there. That's the wheelbarrow. And here's the vegetable patch. I uh, really like this, really like the fact that we've got this carrot sticking out here, and then we just have the head of the carrot, so this is obviously one that's still growing. Uh, I'm just gonna turn this around. I really wanted to show you this trellis piece, which I've not seen before. Uh, that's really nice. I'm sure they've used this in other sets, but this is my first example. And uh, we actually get two of these within this Easter set, and then, we have a pivoting piece, and we have somewhere to hide an Easter egg, which is very cool. Now here we have yet another cute piece. Uh, we have the, uh, the mailbox at the end of the garden, presumably. You can see we've got another trellis piece here, and all of these flowers. And we can actually flip down the, uh, if I can get into it, the front of the mailbox. And we have yet another place to hide an egg. I do remember these mailboxes. These used to be uh, yellow, Used to get a lot of these in Lego City back in the 1980s, and this hasn't changed a bit, which is great. You know, really pleased to see Lego still using these old elements, and they really do stand the test of time. Very nice. And then we have the hen house. This family must be very fortunate to live out in the countryside, and they have hens. You can see the little hen figure here, and a little uh, chicken's nest there with the, uh, the egg to collect. And then inside the actual hen house, we have another Easter egg for the little boy to find. And uh, what's better than having two pieces of fancy trellis? We actually get three pieces of fancy trellis, which is very cool. Very pleased to have those for the collection. That's the hen house. 
And it wouldn't be fair for me to tease the 2016 Easter special without giving you a quick look at the uh, the Easter chick. Uh, I was super stoked to get this last year. Um, again, you know, these are $10 sets, and this is worth $10 of anybody's money just for the uh, the fun googly eyes. Uh, he has a head that can turn all the way around, like the Exorcist. And uh, we also have these cool articulated wings. Uh, a lot of sculpture going on here with these back and front pieces. And even on the back of his head, you can see the, the feathers here. And then I really like the, um, the feet here. Obviously way out of proportion with the chick, uh, but each one of those claws can be articulated individually. And um, yeah, he's just cool, he's just fun. He lives in my display cabinet all year round. I really enjoy having him in my collection. So there we have it, that's the 2017 LEGO Easter Special, set number 40237 with 145 pieces. Also joined by the 2016 Easter Special with the Easter Chick, which was set number 40202. I just did a quick Google and you can actually still buy this set. I saw it on sale at Boscov's website for $9.99. Uh, which doesn't even have a markup on it. So if you like this little guy, you can still go out and buy him. Uh, I would recommend you get the Easter chick, and I do recommend you get this set as well with the, uh, the Easter hunt because, hey, it's way cool, and for $10, I think it's pretty good value for money and great fun. Uh, also good to bring out and put on your Easter table uh, as a little centerpiece. So I want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That really helps us a lot and we're always doing lego review videos we do at least two a week uh, so please hit the subscribe button uh, we've got lots of content already on the channel and we're bringing out new content all of the time so i want to thank you for joining us today really enjoyed sharing these sets with you and we will see you again soon